So we conducted a multi-center phase two study for recurrent glioblastoma patients, evaluating PD-1 checkpoint blockade with pembrolizumab in combination with an FDA-approved anti-angiogenic agent, bevacizumab. So the rationale for this study was based on both preclinical as well as clinical data. Uh, the preclinical data uh, derives from our understanding and knowledge that vascular endothelial growth factor, or VEGF, the critical driver of tumor angiogenesis, which is highly upregulated in glioblastoma tumors, uh, also contributes significantly to immunosuppression within the tumor microenvironment, and it affects many different aspects of immune function and uh, inhibits their capability leading to immunosuppression. So uh, we rationalize that by blocking VEGF we may not only have an impact on the tumor vascularity but also potentially on the immune responsiveness within the tumor microenvironment. Uh, and in preclinical studies, that has been validated, where combination of anti-angiogenic agent plus various immunotherapies have been demonstrated to show that the Im immunotherapy's capability of generating a response is enhanced by EGF blockade.